Hi guys, um, this is Achas from Clean Media Photography. I'm sure by now that you are watching this video, it's either you've been hacked or you know someone that was hacked of their Instagram account or any, any social media platform for that matter. So the reason for my video today is to help you uh, with uh, making sure that you are aware of this scam tactics that they use to be able to get into your uh, phone and change your passwords and do all these things so you should stay alert so in this video we're going to share how to protect yourself to abstain also what you can do to regain your account quickly and what measures you need to take currently as of watching this video to make sure that your accounts are safe because um for some of us we use this to uh, post our work like f photos of what wh whatever work we've done so if you are a person who's selling cars for example you're posting cars so even if instagram can ask you to say uh, send us a picture of yourself it won't work because you don't have a picture of yourself on the page because you were using it specifically for business so there's measures and things that you're supposed to do to stay uh, secured so as for now i'm gonna share a way that was used to to scam my instagram account which is something that happened recently so uh as you know i'm a, I'm a photographer and a videographer so i was trying to download an app uh, an updated app that i'm gonna use to at least edit this little video that i had so um, i thought of an app that was easy and quick to use which was uh, filmora so i went on youtube check this other guy who shows us how to install it so on watching this video uh then there is a link he put a he put a link down there to say okay you can download it here uh the latest vision of filmora it's got something that i i, I wanted to use which is the ai uh future that is there so uh okay fine uh, i downloaded that uh, app that was there then went straight to my downloads when i opened the the, the zipped folder Oh, on the zip folder there were three files uh, those three files uh, there were two folders the third file was the .exe setup file so but it didn't look like Filmora so I double click on the .exe setup file I'm expecting to see a window to show me that now you can set up and continue so the minute I clicked on that the screen went blank a little bit and then came back on and then I was like oh, what is happening now and then it couldn't install and I waited, I, I re-clicked again. Still, the app couldn't re re reinstall. Nothing was happening. So, I knew that something is wrong with this app. There might be a virus. I immediately deleted the app. But then again, the, uh, the virus malware has already been installed. So, meaning that there is a person that gained access to my computer. So, they gained access to my computer. He immediately uh, went to my web browser, which was the Google Chrome, and installed a plugin. That plugin he used to access my passwords from wherever it is, and then he could access my uh, Gmail account, and then uh, access my Instagram account. So I was about to make a post on my Instagram. When I opened my Instagram, I see man, there's two minutes ago there's a post that was made about uh, cryptocurrency, and my BIOS is being changed. What's really happening here? And then I quickly knew that my account is at risk. My account has been scammed. So I ran quickly to the setup. I changed my, my settings. I changed the password. I changed uh, a, 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 a two-step verification. I, I increased the security a little bit so that it's more tighter for the person to, to be able to change uh, other settings as well. So it was not all I, I i still had to go to my google account because that had all the password installed on it for my banking app uh, other websites that i've been logging in using my gmail account they were at risk for example my youtube channel so this person could use my account to do a lot of things a lot of damage so i quickly went and changed my uh, google account i removed removed it from the browser left it only on my phone as a trusted device i removed it from my browser cleaned everything cleaned every password that i once saved to for my browser 
and then started cleaning the computer with an antivirus i picked up the virus that was there yeah so but then uh you guys are lucky because i know which channel did this and they do it with a lot of videos because i went to a lot of videos about filmora on youtube different channels like this had the same video and uh, yeah i'm just gonna show you quickly which channel is it and what app is it if you don't believe me take a risk you will lose everything but i would advise you not to so all we need to do is report this account so that they, they we can reduce the number of scammers out there because they are busy if we can be able to report this uh, youtube account we can save a lot of lives a lot of accounts because some people are still going to be scammed this is just another way that people used to scam this was a way that i've never seen before because if i didn't know anything about computers man i was gone so i could immediately defend myself but still i don't trust my pc right now just gonna save my files and reformat it and make sure that my antivirus is always on no application that should be installed without being scanned yeah so just hold on a bit hold it right there i'm gonna show you the the app that i used so, okay so here i am on my computer so if you open this you will see that uh, this is the channel av production that's the channel and then this is the app that i downloaded with the password there you can see the password is six double one six so you see that after downloading it looked something like this and then i entered the password here six double one six okay mistake six double one six and then clicked okay and then in that zip folder you will see something here there's three three files like i said before there's a dot exe file if you click this dot exe file you can even see the size of this application is not even to the size of the normal application that you would get on the normal website of filmora so after clicking that it just clicked on the screen and then i received a virus you see so they played this video as if this thing was legit so even the comments that are there these are not real comments guys they were posted on the same day three days back all of them if you check three days back three days back three days back it's people that the accounts are non-existent for example like this one GA, you can see that it was there is nothing on the account it's very clean this person doesn't have any content but is asking about filmora how possible is that because if you need filmora it means you are a video editor or you have content that you are dropping on youtube or wherever because look three days three days three days back on the comments three days back three days back three days back is that even possible all these things were made three days back it's not possible guys i mean when you open these are uh, uh, comments that were bought or comments that were made from the machinery like they use the machine to make this comment it's not real comments not real accounts that uh, commented here because all the accounts are the same all of them have no content you can go and check for yourself if you don't believe me Uh, but then again, that is not all, guys. Um, there are still other ways that uh, these people are using to scam your Instagram account. There is a lot of ways that they can use. So this one is the common one. I'm sure you, every one of you who's watching this video have received a message from a close friend, someone who's very close to you. Uh, you see them say, posting or sending you messages about crypto, currency or bitcoin mining something like that then you ask yourself what's really happening no it's not them guys they've already been scammed so you see your friend posting something on their status that hey i've made money there is twenty-five thousand that came into my account post a picture for example can take picture you know you know that uh, no it's not the person the person has been scammed um another tricky one which they use to get into your account to be able to post those things is this one. You get a message from your best friend, someone you really know, asking for a phone number from you. And then you ask yourself, why are you asking for a phone number? But no, they 
they, they will tell you that no, um, I just need to recover my, my, my password from Instagram. Uh, I can't recover it now. Instagram asked me to get a few friends that they can send a link to. So please give me a phone number so that they can send a link and then you give me that password. And then they will actually take your phone number, go to your account, try to log in using your phone number, and then uh, Instagram will send them a, will send you a link on your SMS because they will choose the option of receive the link, reset link via SMS, and then you will receive an SMS with the link, and then they, they will say, send me that um, pin or, or, or link that you got via SMS so that I can recover my account. The minute you do that, you send them that link. They open that link and they gain access to reset your password because now it is confirmed that the number is for the owner of the account. But then you took the link that you are supposed to reset the password with, send it to the third party, who then resets the password, put their own password, change emails, everything. And uh, they also increase the security to be a little bit more tighter from your side that you even try to recover the account, it can be near to impossible. They even go put two-step verification so you can never uh, gain access to that account. And then they start posting things. So they use that account to also do the same thing to other people that are your friends. They are going to check conversations, text them as if they were you and then ask them to do the same thing so that they can be able to uh, post these uh, bitcoins things and make money and uh, normally they do it to scam people for money and uh, to make you join other scam things that they are doing you know so it's very difficult to obtain back the account if you do not have a two-step verification and also if your account is not connected with facebook because sometimes when your account is a business and is connected with Facebook, you are able to uh, uh, delete some posts there, put your pictures and then do a, a phone verification. Maybe use the camera to verify your face, send the request to, for Instagram to look at your account. So, but if you can't do that and then you, you are a photographer like me, you've been posting other people, meaning you don't have your own picture there so you it's going to be near to impossible to recover the account so those are some of the things guys that you need to be on the lookout for stay alert please don't allow people to say send me a link or something and only the funny part is you don't even know this person you you will receive a, 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 a link from some people that you don't even know they say they say okay let me send me a link they said i must choose for friends just tell them to go and as someone else that is closer to them and not you, you see. Or if something happens like that and then it's someone you know, please call them directly and ask them, did you send me a link? Why are you sending me something on Instagram and not on my phone? Because there are some people you don't speak with them on your Instagram inboxes. You speak with them on your WhatsApp or they call you because they're close to you. But now someone sends you a message on Instagram asking about links, telling you about a giveaway of 5,000 that you know nothing about, call them and ask you, why are you sending me this? Then from there you will know that, damn, there is a scam. It's not your friend. You can see from the conversation that this person is not the person you think he is. I hope you heard me. I'm going to drop another video that explains the step of recovering uh, your account and what you can do if you are a photographer like me or someone who sells cars who don't have their face on instagram what steps can you do for now i will say stay alert stay tuned and uh, make sure that you verify the people you speak to on your inboxes because people are out there to destroy you so if you are using your account for business please make sure the two-step verification is on and it's safe and then as for the virus, make sure on your computer, when you log in, you log out. Because they install malware in your computer and can access everything same time. And another thing is that you need to make sure that you have an antivirus on so that 
you can they, they cannot be able to install these malware softwares because if you don't have the antivirus on you are at risk my friend i hope you heard me i'm gonna give you more of this information on the next video that i'm going to drop on how to recover it's gonna be a short one some of the things is some of the things that i've already covered Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go down there and click the subscribe button so that you can receive notifications when I drop more videos.